the tomb of thanks for nothing, the lost pharaoh of the 27th and a half monster dynasty. Even at night, it is a sight to behold. Tomorrow we plan to enter the burial chamber and discover the long lost mummy. Oops! Uh oh! Oh boy! The door! Oh no! I'm trapped! And if my research is correct, the only way to open the doors is to find the five magic rings. But who in the world can do that? Chief Inspector! I believe there's something of interest in today's Monsterville Times. Give it here, old chum. Ah, they're replacing the sand in the sandbox at Weedle Park. It's about time. Most newsworthy indeed, but look at the headline. Missing. Famous Egyptologist Professor Pickle, last seen at the tomb of Thanks for Nothing, the long-lost mummy of the 27th and a half monster dynasty. Holy smokes, Detective Kerplopis! Our friend, the Professor, has certainly gotten himself into quite a pickle this time. Indeed, Chief Inspector. Indeed. <coughs> Little Monster Private Eye Headquarters. Detective Kerplopis speaking. <coughs> Chief Inspector, it's Dr. Crooney for you. Dr. Crooney, don't you worry. Detective Kerplopis and I will be on our way in two shakes of a toad's tail, and we'll find Professor Pickle just as quick. They don't call me Little Monster Private Eye for nothing, you know. To the mysterious land of Egypt, I'm the double, Detective. Right to you, Chief Inspector. We got here as fast as we could, Dr. Crooney. Oh, oh, it's a terrible thing, poor Professor Pickle. He's trapped inside the tomb of thanks for nothing, the very tomb he himself uncovered. And there's only one way out, through the door of the five magic rings. The, the door, door of, of the, the five, five magic, magic rings. rings. That's right. According to legend, the five magic rings must be placed in their proper positions, in the doorway of the tomb, in order for the tomb to open. Here in this journal, you'll find all of Professor Pickle's research about the five magic rings and where they're rumored to be hidden. Then we must find these five magic rings and rescue our friend. If you have any other questions, you know where to find me. Look, Chief Inspector, a rope. You never know when a rope may come in handy. Dr. Crooney, is it okay if we take this rope? Of course, anything to help Professor Pickle. I do hope he's all right. Honest homage, Camel Rental, the tomb of Pharaoh Fawcett. This is the tomb of Pharaoh Fawcett, known for his long and well-maintained tresses, as well as building this beautiful stone monument in his own memory. Daddy Frank, why don't you stand next to Pharaoh Fawcett and I'll take your picture. Sure thing, sugar pie. And now, moving right along, over there, you will see... Tourists. Time to get back to business, detective. <laughs> I wonder what's up with all these scarabs, detective. I don't know, but they're really starting to bug me. Haha, <laughs> detective. Did you hear that? It played a sound. Hmm. 
This seems to be some ancient form of concentration. If it is, then the object would be to match up each scarab with another that makes exactly the same sound. Interesting theory, detective. Let's put it to the test. It's the eye of Hamon Raya. <laughs> the Nile Pyramid City, the Nile Shrine. Shrine. It's quite peaceful here, Chief Inspector. There is no time to rest, Detective. We must continue our quest. The Lotus Pyramid City. The Pyramid City Marketplace. Rather exotic, don't you think, Chief Inspector? Absolutely, chum. you with my tasty treats? Some delicious dates, perhaps? Or maybe you would prefer the most delectable spicy kebabs this side of the Nile? Sweet or spicy, whatever your palate, Akabar aims to please. We'd like some of your delicious dates, please. Excellent choice. Did you know that monkeys love dates, too? <laughs> that will be three scarabs, please. Hmm, three scarabs? Do we have that many? Hey, you two in the raincoats, come and try your luck at my table. See if you can beat Scab the Thief at an honest game of chance. That'll be one scarab to play, my fine friends. The rules are simple. I show you the red scarab. I shuffle the cups around. 
Then you tell me where it is. You get it right, you win a scarab. You get it wrong, I keep your scarab. Simple stuff. Hey, you two in the raincoats, come and try your luck at my table. See if you can beat Scab the Thief at an honest game of chance. That'll be one scarab to play, my fine friends. The rules are simple. I show you the red scarab. I shuffle the cups around. Then you tell me where it is. You get it right, you win a scarab. You get it wrong, I keep your scarab. Simple stuff. Thanks. Now watch closely. Keep your eye on the scarab. Good game. You win a scarab. Let's go to the Monster Museum of Egyptology, Detective, and see what we can find there. Jolly good, Chief Inspector. After you, Detective. No, after you, Chief Inspector. I insist, after you. No, after you. Welcome to the Monster Museum of Egyptology. If you are interested in visiting our new exhibit devoted exclusively to the mystery of the lost city of Hamon Raya, you will find that you are right. Thank you. Actually, we are here on official business. We're looking into the disappearance of the famous archaeologist, Professor Pickle. Perhaps you have heard of the five magic rings. Yes, I believe they unlock the tomb of thanks for nothing, in which resides the only mummy missing from our otherwise complete collection. Do you think we can borrow that flail? We need it to rescue Professor Pickle. Oh no, it is strict museum policy that none of our artifacts leave the premises unless officially authorized. Excuse me, sir, but what do you mean? What I mean is that I need official notification by an authorized party that you are indeed working on official business. How about Dr. Crooney? Dr. Crooney? <laughs> she would be a... <laughs> that is to say, perfect. <laughs> a note from her would be more than suffice. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. It must have something to do with the lost city of Haman Raya. It looks like some kind of code. We better take a picture of it with our super duper infrared spy camera. Say cheese, detective. Cheese. And now we have a picture of the freeze to refer to when we need it. Right here, Chief Inspector. The Lacroon is camp. Dr. Crooney, we were just at the Monster Museum of Egyptology, and Mr. Grithy said that if we got a note from you, he would lend us the flail. Sure, we were wondering if you could give us a note. Certainly, yes, of course. No problem. Anything to help Professor Pickle? Anything at all? And send my regards to Mr. Griffey. Pyramid City. It smells heavenly. Dr. Clooney, send you her best, sir. 
Hmm? Oh, well, I... Oh. Uh, the flail, sir. The flail is all yours. The tomb of Pharaoh Fosh the Schmall. Sure, this is the small pyramid, Chief Inspector. It seems rather large for a small pyramid, Detective. But it isn't nearly as large as the large pyramid, which I suppose is why they called it small. Hmm. The flail, a symbol of the Pharaoh's prosperity. The crook, a symbol of the Pharaoh's power. Honest homage, Camel the Sphinx. There are certainly a number of interesting souvenirs here, Detective. Looks like the proprietor is out to lunch, Chief Inspector. We'll have to come back later. Behold, the legendary Sphinx. Quite a somber looking fellow, isn't he? What is it, Detective? There seems to be some sort of inscription. Hold on. I'll try and translate it. Aha! I think I have it. I sit in a corner while traveling around the world. A riddle? That must be the riddle of the Sphinx, Detective. Place your answer on the offering stone. Ooh! Indeed. Souvenirs! Get your souvenirs. You can't leave Egypt without a souvenir. Wow, there are so many souvenirs to choose from. Maybe one of these items is the answer to the Sphinx's riddle. Those are postage stamps. They're five scarabs apiece. We'd like some stamps, please. A very popular item. That'll be five scarabs, please. Thank you, darling. If you're not happy with it, remember, you can always exchange it for something else. You have pleased me. Here is your prize. Look, detective. It's a crook. Pyramid City, the Sphinx, the large pyramid. Now I know why they call this the Lodge Pyramid. You could say that again, chum. That was quite a climb.
Let's use the rope to get up there, detective. Right to you, Chief Inspector. We seem to have landed in the upper chamber of the large pyramid. Jolly good, detective. But there seems to be no way out except the air shaft. All I see are tiles and empty spaces. What do you make of it, detective? Hmm, perhaps those extra tiles along the bottom fit into the empty spaces somehow. That's it! Brilliant deduction, chum! Whoa! Hello, kitty. I've got to get a look at this. Look, Chief Inspector. This must be the lower chamber of the large pyramid. Hmm. Look, detective! The purple ring! Now we just have to find a way out of here. Hmm. Chief Inspector, look at those cat carvings over there. One of the kitties seems to be missing from that litter. You're right, Detective! Hmm. Chief Inspector, look at those cat carvings over there. One of the kitties seems to be missing from that litter. You're right, Detective! I wonder if the cat stone we found will fit into this opening. It's a perfect fit. Good job, Detective! The Nile Shrine. The Lotus Gun. So this is a lotus garden. Quite serene. Monkey see, monkey do. Isn't that right, detective? Indeed, Chief Inspector. Indeed. Hmm, it seems we have to redirect the water, but to where? That small hole seems like a likely spot. Look, detective, it's the green ring. What are we going to do now, Detective? The ring is too high for us to reach. I know, Chief Inspector. Even though we can't climb up, there may be someone else who can.
the Nach Rönig Cup. You know that journal represents years of the professor's research, so take good care of it. I'm sure it'll wind up at the Monster Museum of Egyptology one day. Honest homage, camel rental. The thanks for nothing's tomb. So this is the tomb of thanks for nothing. If only we could find the door of the five magic rings, it would bring us that much closer to finding our friend. Chief Inspector, look behind you. There, just as Dr. Clooney told us, is the door of the five magic rings. Very good, detective. Honest homage, Camel Red. You boys need to reach those hard to get to desert sites. Can't go wrong with a camel. What about that one? That one you can have. She's a real bargain at 10 scarabs. Hmm, 10 scarabs. Do we have that many? Hot, hot. The Lotus Garden. The Thirsty Camel Cantina, some mysterious obelisks, the Large Pyramid. Thanks for the Large Pyramid, some mysterious obelisks. <laughs> wow, what are they? I believe they are stone monuments called obelisks. And if I recall correctly, they usually mark the site of something important, Chief Inspector. Each of these obelisks seems to be fitted with some sort of dial. Perhaps each dial needs to be turned to a particular position. Hmm, these obelisks look very familiar. I believe you took a picture of them when we went to the museum. Well, that matches the obelisks from the museum. Now what? I haven't a clue, Chief Inspector. What's going on, Detective? I don't know, Chief Inspector. It feels like an earthquake. I believe we found the lost city of Haman Raya, Chief Inspector. I believe you're right, chum. So, this is the famous lost city of Hamanraya. 
Maybe we should take a look around. This, I believe, is the tomb of Tuta Fruta, a pharaoh with quite a strange sense of humor. Well, this is Tutta Fruta's casket. Shall we open it and see what's inside? Certainly. Uh, you first, Chief Inspector. Mmm, it seems to be locked. Hmm, perhaps those strange looking animal heads have something to do with it. Maybe. <coughs> Chief Inspector, I believe that we must listen to the pattern played by the animal heads, then repeat it back. You could be onto something, chum. It's working. Let's try it again. Almost there. Only a few more. This is it. Let's not mess up. Look, Detective! It's the Red Ring! It looks like we found the shrine of Haman Raya. Hmm, Haman Raya, do you think I could get it to go? Just joking, Chief Inspector. This statue looks as if it should be holding something. Like what, Detective? I don't know, Chief Inspector, but perhaps the eye symbols on the pedestal are some kind of clue. Maybe we should see what the general has to say about this. Ah, perfect fit. It appears so, yet nothing is happening, detective. There must be more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> Duck, Chief Inspector! The Blue Ring! Hello? Is anybody here? It looks like it's just you and me, Chief Inspector. <laughs> P 
Pyramid City. Pyramid City, the Sphinx, Krunisk, the Lotus Garden. <laughs> Pardon me, my primate pal, but would you mind fetching that ring for us? Thinking, detective. Thank you, little fellow. <laughs> Had him the tomb of Pharaoh Fosh. The small pyramid. The Crook, a symbol of the Pharaoh's power. Aha! The Yellow Ring! On the Thalar crew, thanks for nothing's tomb. <laughs> okay, we got all of the rings. Uh, now what, chum? Put them in, I suppose, Chief Inspector. Right, here goes nothing. I think that did it, Chief Inspector. Here we come, Professor! We seem to be in some kind of maze, Chief Inspector. Well, we'll have to find our way through somehow, so we can finally rescue our friend, Professor Pickle. The maze continues. Indeed it does. Chief Inspector, it seems our path ends here. Drat! We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. This maze is quite complex. Quite.
I don't know how we're ever going to find our way through this maze. We must keep trying, detective. Which door should we try this time, Chief Inspector? I'm not sure, detective. Now what, Chief Inspector? One of these doors has to be the right one, detective. We seem to have come to the end of the line. It appears so, detective. I wonder where we went wrong. Now, there are only two doors, Chief Inspector. I wonder if that means we're getting closer, Detective? Hmm, two doors again, Chief Inspector. So I see, Detective. Professor Pickle! Hello, Chief Inspector. Detective, how did you ever find me? It's a long story, Professor, and we'll tell you all about it later. The most important thing is getting you out of here. But not just me, Chief Inspector. The mummy, too. Finally, I found the tomb of Thanks for Nothing, the lost pharaoh of the 27th and a half monster dynasty. And now, Thanks for Nothing can join the rest of his family at the Monster Museum of Egyptology. The museum will be so thrilled. How... Uh, nice, Professor. But first, let's get you out of here. Whoa! What's this, Professor? That, I believe, is the way to get me out of here. When you pull that small sun-shaped lever on the left, the puzzle will open to reveal a panel full of holes, and another area full of tiny pieces. The object is to get all of the tiny pieces into their proper holes before the sun rises back up to the top. Sounds like a challenge, Chief Inspector. Challenge? Ha! Challenge is my middle name. I thought it was Ira. Shh! Quiet! At last, I am finally free. Well done, Detective. Hooray! Watch your head, Professor. Oh, right. Thanks. Thank you so much, Chief Inspector. Detective, I don't know how I can ever repay you. 
Think nothing of it, Professor Pickle. It's all in a day's work. When you're in the private eye business... You can say that again, Chief Inspector. Professor Pickle, what's going to become of all this treasure? We'll leave it for now. The only treasure I'm interested in is right here. The mummy. Thanks for nothing. Ooh! Professor Pickle, do you have anything you'd like to tell the press as you bring the long-lost mummy to his final resting place? I would just like to thank my friends, Little Monster Private Eye and Detective Kerplopus, for without them, I would be as long lost as the mummy. Oh, won't you stay and be our guests of honor at the opening of the Treasures of Thanks for Nothing exhibit? We're honored, but we've got to go. There are more mysteries to be solved. We'll at least stay for a final picture. I've never been one to pass up a photo opportunity. I guess that just about wraps up the mummy mystery. Well said, Chief Inspector.